Good evening, Bourbon Quest. Bourbon Steve here. It is uh, Saturday evening here at the Bourbon Ship. And uh, anyways, I, I apologize offhand. I'm, if my voice sounds different or sniffles and blowing my nose tonight, I'm dealing with East Tennessee allergies today. So I apologize, but you know, when you're feeling a little kind of under the weather due to allergies or whatever else, uh, you know, what better way to try and get through that than a little bourbon. So I thought that's what we would do today. I uh, thought we would do a little trip down, uh, or I guess trip up Heaven Hill. Uh, so I've got some Heaven Hill products and a couple of these uh, have been unopened. So just thought we'd just go through these and, uh, talk about them, see what we think, and uh, Heaven Hill is one of uh, my favorite distilleries. Uh, they have a wide or vast lineup of different whiskeys. Uh, I mean, some of the ones we got today, Burn Hub, uh, this is Evan Williams Single Barrel, Evan Williams Black Label, Elijah Craig, uh, and then these two I've never had yet to open so I'll be interested to see these are kind of their lower end budget ones uh, JW Dan and old quality house yeah quality house uh, of course also they have uh, old Fitzgerald Larceny which I have some of those but just thought I'd bring out some of these basic ones um, and see if we can't kick this side of sh shit Ugh. not feeling my best tonight anyways We'll start off with the uh, Bernheim Original Wheat Whiskey. It uh, seven years age, small batch, 90 proof. Uh, Bernheim Original Wheat Whiskey uses soft winter wheat as the main grain in its recipe and seven years of aging in new charred oak barrels to deliver a smooth taste. This one-of-a-kind whiskey is handcrafted according to the traditions that our master distillers have been practicing for seven generations. Discover the unique pleasure of Bernheim Original Wheat Whiskey. So, we'll see. This is a, a wheat whiskey here, seven years. I don't know, my nose is all jacked up. I apologize, I'm not smelling much of anything due to these sinuses. I mean, I do get some nuttiness, some ethanol. Oh, I should have really declared. Oh well, let's go into it. Orange spice, nuttiness. I've had this before and it's not been at the top of my list. Um, there's some better wheat whiskeys out there. Obviously, your Weller, but even um, Maker's Mark. Um, you know, but I'm not a fan of this one, really. Be interested if you are, you know, tell me why, tell me your thoughts. But I kind of thought that before and uh, just hadn't done a video where I've had this one in. Uh, probably will not pick up another bottle of that. I think there's better options out there for a good wheat whiskey. I mean, it's sweet and nutty. Uh, I get some of that orange flavor on it. It's it's not bad or anything. It's just that um, it doesn't fit my flavor profile. And I, I just have had you know two, three, or four at least, maybe more of wheat whiskeys that uh, are readily available. That I think are better than that. So let's go ahead and with some water. Uh, I can't breathe. So next is uh, Evan Williams 
uh, single barrel. This is a 86.6 proof. Uh, put in the oak 2013. Uh, barreled on 27, yeah, 2718, barrel number 305, and bottled on March 11th, uh, 21. So, what are we looking at? That's uh, eight years. Yeah. This bourbon was personally selected by our master distillery only after meeting his uh, exacting standards for this vintage. Taken from a single barrel, it is the art of bourbon making at its finest. Bottled unblended with other barrels to preserve its individuality. Hand numbered as a sign of its limited availability. And so it is a single barrel like Blanton's. So it is, you know, limited, but you can readily find this. Um, just look at that bottle. And uh, let's go. Let's have a taste of this. Eighty-six point six proof. Okay. So, if we get anything at all on the nose of these allergies and stuffiness, I it is what it is. Sometimes you get just gotta play hurt. You know what I mean? You gotta be there for for the Bourbon Quest fans. You know, you gotta play injured. I'm not gonna be able to give you much on noses. I mean, I mean, I get the alcohol on noses, but oh well. We'll go, we'll see how the palate hangs. Yeah, sweet caramel, uh, a little bit of chocolate, um, vanilla, toffee. I mean, this is really good. I mean, I have to go back and look. I know it's not expensive. I, exactly, I forget exactly how much it is. But, I mean, I will tell you, it's cheaper at Bland's, and you can find it, and it's it's pretty delicious. Yeah, nose is jacked. I mean... That's a crushable bottle. It's uh, delicious, sweet, smooth, um, not overpowering, also not long last lasting. I wouldn't say it's very complex, but just uh, I mean, it's it's got everything that you'd want in a traditional bourbon, and uh, maybe a little more. Just so, and of course, you know, they're going to vary. It's a single barrel, so um, you know. This one happens to be good, um, but they will, you know, that's going to be one of the things with the single barrels. It's going to vary from barrel to barrel. Uh, not everyone's going to be as great as, you know, the other one. But this one's good. All right. Then, of course, your traditional, everyday Evan Williams Black Label. Uh, distilled from time-honored formula originated in 1783, Evan Williams is produced in the heart of Kentucky's bourbon country. This bourbon is aged in charcoal filtered for a smoother, more complex flavor, world-renowned by bourbon lovers. Evan Williams set up his distillery on the banks of the Ohio River in 1783 and is historically recognized as Kentucky's first distiller of bourbon. This special bourbon is a genuine sour mash that honors his pioneering heritage. It's a 86 proof. Heaven Hill. On every shelf in America.
the eye, my nose is jacked. But on the palate, uh, orange spice, nuttiness, uh, sweet, vanilla, caramel, uh, a little bit of chocolate. I mean, it's delicious. I really like that Evan Williams Black Label. I mean, for everyday sipper budget 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 bourbon, everyday everyday sipper. I mean, uh, yeah, that's a recommend for a budget bourbon that you can get on any shelf in America. Uh, I mean, again, it's not. I mean, it's. I don't even know how much was it. It's under twenty bucks. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so you're not going to get a whole lot of complexity or, you know, craziness going on there. But, uh, definitely a good supper. I mean, it's crushable. Just sweet, caramel, vanilla. Uh, yeah. Everything you'd want in a, you know, traditional run-of-the-mill bourbon that's delicious all right of course the star of the show in this lineup is going to be our Elijah, Elijah Craig barrel proof I feel like these are readily available I think in my bourbon journey I've been able to get since I started every batch that they've put out so far I mean it takes a little bit of effort but nothing crazy but this uh, this particular one is uh, this is batch B520. So this is from last year. Uh, I know I had one of these picked up another one. It's a 127.2 proof, and it's at 12 years old, non-chilled, filtered. Nice bottom. I don't know if you can see that on the side there, but 12 years old. Uh, this is again last year's batch uh, B520. One of my favorites from last year. Alright, I apologize. I got it. Everybody's done this, so I'm not going to pause the camera. I'll just blow my nose on TV. <laughs> But you can, I mean, even though I've got no nose right now, I mean, I can still get that ethanol and char sweetness. Unfortunately, I can't get much more of that with dealing with a stuffy nose and allergies, but. All right, let's go in for the palate. At least that's working, thank God. Oh yeah, just some spice, caramel, vanilla, uh, cream brulee, toffee. Definitely get some of that spice. I mean, obviously being 127 proof, you get that. I don't get a whole lot of hug, but I get that on the palate, on the tongue. Uh, good mouthfeel, um, just lingers there on the front and mid palate especially. And just start to get a little bit of that Kentucky hug there. Uh, I mean, I've never, I've not been disappointed by an Elijah Craig barrel proof yet. Uh, reasonably priced at retail for a barrel proof bourbon. I feel like it's, I readily, I mean, it takes a little bit of effort, but you can get this. Uh, like I said, I've been able to acquire every batch since I started my journey and, and usually a couple bottles not of every batch but it, you know the ones that I really liked and searched out a little bit more for like the B520 I know I got at least two of those one I've already killed out there in the out there in the garage but I'm 
like to keep an eye on time. All right. One more taste on this. This is delicious. Get one. It's been a while since I've had that, but it does not disappoint. All right, so the next two are ones that I've never had before. Picked them up when I started my bourbon quest just because I was trying to basically acquire most anything I could find out there, especially if it came from a, a distillery like uh, Heaven Hill or Wild Turkey, Jim Beam, Buffalo Trace, you know, those standards. I, I mean, I'd buy just about anything in their lineup to, you know, give them a shot, even these, you know, low level budgets and uh, budget bourbons because sometimes, I mean, I didn't, I didn't bring this one out today. Yeah, I'm not going to, but like from Heaven Hill, the Mellow Corn, I love that thing. It's like $11, $11, dollars bottle. I mean, corn whiskey, but it's so sweet and delicious. Like, who knows? Maybe I will have some later. But right now, these are, well, there's not going to be enough corking because I think these are both twist tops. But this is uh, J.W. Dan. Oh, Bottle de Bond. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Um, so 100 proof, obviously, with it being bottled and bond. Doesn't give you much more information than that. Genuine Sour Mash. Heaven Hill. All right. Pause for untwisting. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a budget bourbon, so I'm not expecting a lot, but like I do with everything, whether it be a $200 bottle or a budget bottle, uh, when we crack one open, it goes into the affinity bottle. So let's do uh, our pour into that. There we go. Set you to the side. And then let's pour it in the glass. Okay, this is J.W. Dam. I can't tell you anything. I don't know who the hell J.W. Dan is, but uh, be f feel free to comment and let me know who J.W. Dan is. Um, I didn't even take the time to research it or anything. think it was that important for a budget bourbon, but I'm sure there's a cool story, hopefully there. All right, let's, oh, I got no nose. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, let's taste it. Mm. That's better than I would have thought. It's like, uh, got sweet honey, uh, honey caramel. A little bit of a uh, little bit of chocolate it's not bad I mean it's not complex or what's the proof oh yeah it's a bottle of 100 proof take a little more water here I mean if you're looking to I mean, I know it's under 20 bucks. I don't know if it's 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, but whatever. But if you're looking to take a bottle of whiskey out to golf course, racetrack, football game, and don't care if it gets broken, confiscated, you know, whatever, I mean, it fits that bill. I mean, if you watched my video, my last video, I mean, I guarantee you this is about a quarter. If this is t around 10, 11, 12 in the Woodford malt crap that I had the other day, it's probably like, you know, 40, 50, maybe even a little bit more. This is better than that. I give you that. I mean, it's... 
It's not that. I mean, it's surprise. I mean, it exceeded my expectations. Just, I mean, it's, you know, just very simple bottle, white label, no information, you know, other than it being bottled and bond. So we do, we do know it's four years old and a hunter proof. Um, doesn't tell you any more than that. But it's, you know, I'm surprised. I don't know if I'd buy another one because I have too many bourbons anyway. I'd like to know the story. If you know the story on Jay, who, I mean, I'll probably look it up myself, but feel free to comment and let me know what you know about the history of J.W. Dan because I don't have a clue. All right. That surprisingly, yeah, exceeded my expectations. All right, last bottle. This is a uh, Heaven Hill Quality House. Another untwisting. Ooh, it's very light. Ugh. The color on it's horrible. I noticed that. Well, that's not important. The color, of this. this doesn't have good color. I'll give it that. Well, I don't give it that. Whatever. That's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, again, we got to go to the infinity bottles and untwisting that. I need to look. I'm, I think I'm up to like, I'm coming up upon 200 different, I don't think it's at 200, but it's getting up there. I'll, next time I do an uncorking, untwisting, whatever, I'll tell you a total of how many bottles are in this infinity bottle. It's getting close to 200. I know. All right. Well, I mean, you know I'm doing all the sinuses today, so yeah, I got nothing on the nose. The color is not it's not inspiring at all. I mean, it's it's very light, no legs. What's the proof on this? Um, this is Heaven Hill Quality House Old Style Bourbon. It's 80 proof. So, as low as you can get. Uh, mellow smooth charcoal filtered established shortly after Prohibition. Heaven Hill Old Style Bourbon is a genuine sour mash whiskey. It is, um, it is produced using a time proven method by 6th and 7th generation master distillers whose craft has been passed on from generation to generation charcoal filter just prior to bottling. So charcoal filtering. Isn't that what Jack Daniels does? Okay. You Kentucky, Kentucky bourbon lovers. It says charcoal filter just prior to bottling. But this bourbon is known for its smooth yet mild and mellow flavor. So it's interesting. There's this thing about charcoal filtering and, and does it constitute it being bourbon? Listen, I shouldn't get into this, but yes, it is bourbon because it meets all it's 50, at least 51% corn. It's aged in a new char oak barrel. The only thing is it goes through the Lincoln County process. I, mean, I think I ain't wearing a Jack Daniels. They're at church. I'm going to the concert in November. Still looking for a date, single lady, so let me know. But anyway, no. Uh, so this is charcoal filtered, and it says bourbon on it. Jack Daniels and others 
George Dinkle up until just recently put bourbon on their label choose to call it Tennessee whiskey but by all legal definitions they could call it bourbon if they wanted to they just choose not to they want to try and differentiate themselves and listen I'm in Tennessee so yes I love Jack Daniels uh, that's what I was born and raised on uh, I'm a Tennessee Squire I think I'm wearing my Tennessee Squire hat but listen I love bourbon I mean I love Buffalo Trace, Jim Beam, Wild Turkey, Heaven Hill, Willet I mean I don't discriminate at all and I feel like sometimes well I shouldn't say that anyways like yeah I'm gonna wave my flag for the ones I like and I and I do like Jack Daniels I know sometimes it gets grief but it's like the number one selling whiskey in the world if I'm not mistaken I'm pretty sure um, I've had the honor to have dinner and meet Jimmy Bedford I may have told that story before I'll probably tell it again later not important tonight but all I'm saying is it just caught my attention that this is charcoal filtered. Uh, made in Barksdale, Kentucky. Heaven Hill Old Style Bourbon is named for the spring that ran through the distillery grounds. This spring originally provided the pure limestone water used to produce this fine bourbon. Today, Heaven Hill Old Style Bourbon continues its legacy as a fine Kentucky bourbon that is charcoal filtered. I'm just saying. Alright, I have no nose. Even though I don't have one. Yeah. I don't have high hopes. Yeah, it's got a, a sourness. Green apple. I'm not a fan. You know, but this one surprised me. This was better than I thought it would be. I actually thought this would probably be a little better than that 